Jace Tunnel here. Super excited to be able to talk to y'all about something washing up this week because of the cold weather we've been having. Real odd looking animals. And uh, these are called sea pins. And uh, some cool interesting things about these are that normally you don't find them with all their fleshy polyps still on them. These are actually a, a colony of animals living together. And I don't mean because I'm holding a handful of them. I mean there's a colony of animals in a single pen right here. And uh, they are a bunch of polyps living together as one animal. So related to like uh, uh, the sea whip soft coral, which is also, you know, has uh, polyps living all over it, although that's yellow and it lives a little bit differently as well. And then uh, sea anemones are also related to that. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about these things. Um, uh, if you find them in the wild, they will actually be uh, anchored down with their peduncle. This is this soft uh, kind of fleshy part down here, anchors them down into the sediment. Uh, and then they'll have what, uh, this is called the rachis, but it actually has a feather on top. So you might have seen these at aquariums, um, but if you see this whenever it's alive, they have the polyp, the feeding polyps that looks like a big feather up here. Um, and now, since these have already washed up, um, they're still, uh, I can put them in water. They're, uh, and I'll show some close up video of this. Their polyps are kind of coming out uh, a little bit, you know, trying to, to feed. Um, but what's going to end up happening, they're not going to survive. We had some really cold weather and uh, they got washed up. Um, they're going to end up drying up and all that will be left is, is the rachis and it's going to be uh, basically the skeleton of the organism that'll look like a stick. You'll never even know what it originally looked like. Now there must be just massive beds of these sea pins right off of the coast here. Now I'm at the Padre Island National Seashore and I've been driving along here and I keep coming up on all of these uh, sea pins that have washed up and I mean thousands of them. And so if you look right here, this is probably an area, uh, and they're, they're all in the water over here. I don't know if you can see these. And uh, just, I mean, all the way out over there. So this is one area, and this is probably 20 feet by 10 feet little patch. But then as I look down the beach, there's another patch there. There's another one even further down. And this goes on for miles and miles. So um, there must just be massive beds of these things right out here off the coast. That's pretty cool for something that you don't normally see. Okay, now, you know, as a scientist, one thing uh, I always like to do is try to get uh, some samples of stuff so that when people contact me later on, uh, I can say, oh yeah, 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 you know, uh, I brought some of those back if you wanna check them out. And so, um, you know, if you ever find one of these and it's still got a little bit of stuff on there, uh, you can just take it off like that. And so, let me see if I can get a clip, but, but then that just leaves you the skeleton there. So that's what you're left with. It just looks like a stick. And that's what it looks like finally after all these things uh, decay apart. So let me do one up close here. So you see you got the peduncle. That's what keeps it down in the, in the sand. If I just rub my finger like this, that peduncle comes right off of there. And then I'm just left with the stick. And so I'm gonna do this with a few of them. Uh, just in case I get somebody who says, hey, you know, I wish I had uh, one of those so I can show my class. Uh, and so, ooh, now some of these still have some polyps on them. That's gonna smell real bad, so I'm probably not gonna keep, keep any of those that have that, but, oh man, yeah, that one too. So some of these you can tell probably uh, came up at different times because some of these, I, I barely, I mean, they're all this, all the polyps are already off of it. And then some of them, it's still stuck on there pretty good. But um, I would think that after probably another week, you're not gonna be able to see any of this on the beach. Uh, it will all be, look like sticks. 
the wind will then be able to blow it around and uh, the water uh, waves are gonna move it around. You're not gonna be able to see any of this. So if this is something you wanna check out, you probably wanna get out here early. Okay, got my samples. Um, let's talk about some other stuff. Now look at this. C pins all mixed in with C whip soft coral. Guess that was just rolling around on the sea floor and uh, they got all wrapped up in there. Of course, it, you, this is eventually what the sea pen's gonna look like, just a stick uh, with, with nothing on it. And so you won't even be able to tell what the original animal was. Now, you can find these uh, all over the world. Uh, shallow, now the reason we're finding them in here is because they can live in abundance uh, near shore in uh, sandy environments. And so, especially off the Padre Island National Seashore, every year we get a cool phenomenon with these things washing up. Now, what do you think eats these things? Well, they are a major food source for loggerhead sea turtles. They love to eat these things. And actually, I know that, um, you know, unfortunately, sometimes we get sea turtles that die and stuff. and. Uh, they'll do necropsies on it, which is basically cutting it open to see why it died. And uh, the loggerheads many times will have these uh, sea pins all up in their gut. Other predators, as you can imagine, if they're all feathery like that, other things can come and eat them. So nudibranchs is one of those. Those are like um, sea slugs, basically. And sea stars also eat these. One of the coolest things I think about these uh, is they can live up to 100 years old. Can you imagine 100 year old uh, little sea pen living that long? Uh, just a real interesting animal. And no, I know all you were thinking is like, man, those look delicious, right? Can we eat them? No, you can't eat these things. Don't try to do that. Okay, uh, that's it for this episode of Beachcombing. Uh, hope you learned something new about the sea pens. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.